Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Eloho. This is my highlighting and contouring for dark skin tones video. Like, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm, I don't think I'm the only one that types in, um, you know, makeup for dark skin or highlighting and contouring for dark skin videos and you see the thumbnail and you click on it and then you're just like, bruh, you're not dark skin though. I'm trying to get views off of dark skin girls. Stop. This is for my brown skin, dark skin girls. Everything that I'm using in this video is dark skin, like deep dark skin friendly. Thumbs up this video, share with a friend, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other techniques and products that you know are absolutely dark skin friendly. Okay guys, so I'm starting with my complexion already done and my eyebrows already done. We're going to talk about color correcting really quickly. I choose to color correct after I apply my foundation. You see your face as a blank canvas. You see all the imperfections. Oh my god, it's dark over here, it's dark here, it's dark here, it's dark here, here, here. And you just start drawing all over your face with your color corrector. I usually always use a full coverage foundation. In that case, my foundation covers a lot of my discolorations. After I use my full coverage foundation, I then go in with my color corrector and that way you use less product. This LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Color Corrector is really great guys. I mean the prices are going up. Mm, this is not $6. Can you check again? Yep, it was $5.99. I was like, nah, I'm going to the hood. I'm sorry. I ain't buying this here. so highlighting and contouring is basically adding light to your face and adding shadows to your face it's to create definition to create more of a sculpted face the ideal face shape is an oval and when you're contouring you're basically trying to get that oval face shape you just want to be up okay and snatched to the gods girl Cover FX, I use this so much, the words done scraped off. It is hard to find products for darker skin girls, that's why I got you. So this is their contour kit, it is a cream contour kit. It comes with four shades. Number one, which is your lighter highlights. You got number two, which is your highlight, your shimmer highlights. You got number three, which is gonna be your concealer for some people, or a highlight if you're a deeper skin tone like myself. And then number four, which is going to be your contour. Go, 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 go. I'm going to take number three. I'm going to apply it under my eye in a triangle. can use a little bit of number one a little bit not 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 too much just a little bit and i just add that like up in here because i have deep set eyes Going back into my Cover FX palette, I'm going into number four, which is the contour, that beautiful dog, dog, dog chocolate. I'm using my Sigma brush, F06. I really like this brush because it gets right into the, it gets right in, honey. Like, she's just in. She's just in, honey. <laughs> Contouring your jawline is not mandatory. I just feel like my face is gaining weight and I need that little chin to just disappear. Like. I'm going to take the other end of my beauty blender. I'm going to squeeze and I'm going to press. You already see them cheekbones coming in so you can kind of squint like, yeah, girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Be taking my Sigma P89 brush to blend that out. I 
freaking love this product, man. Dark skin, deep skin, friendly. Girl, have you tried her yet? So I'm literally pressing the product. Pressing. Press, 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 press. I'm then going to bake with Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to go back in with the Derma Blend and I'm going to set underneath my contour. I like totally forgot to contour my nose because I actually never contour my nose but I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video you know I never contour my nose my nose is a button it's always gonna be a button contouring your nose you just want to make sure that you bring the contour all the way up all the way up using the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. Now this is a foundation powder, but I use it to contour and it does an amazing job. I'm using my Sephora contouring brush, number 79. Now with this powder, a little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna go crazy with this powder because you will look crazy with this powder. <laughs> Okay, we have another snap question. Hey, hey, um, I just want to know like how much foundation is too much when you're about to apply it on your face and how do you cream contour? So, NKY Pinky asked how much foundation is too much foundation and how do you cream contour? So you are in luck because I'm cream contouring in this video. Too much. What is too much? Sidebar, guys. I'm using the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. Y'all know I love this. And this is dark skin friendly, girl, bye. Like, you don't want to apply way too much product to where it's like you're glopping it on your face. You definitely don't want that. Depending on the coverage, if it's like a full coverage, I would say start with one pump um, and see how much, you know, how much that will cover for you. Um, if you're using a lighter formula, then you might tend to use a little bit more product. As long as you're not glopping it on and just like going through bottles and bottles of foundation like a month, like, I'm, girl, you, you overdoing it. Okay, next question is from Ice T. I I'm just trying to understand why you don't follow me back yet. Like, <laughs> you slay your face every day. I tell you I love you every day, but you don't, you don't want to follow me back? Yo. <laughs> came for me way oh my god you a thug for that one I, see i like thugs i gotta follow you back for that uh, i love y'all so much like do y'all know that okay so her pretty smile said i would love to send a snap but i look crazy right now <laughs> i can't um but i want to know a good contour powder for someone of chocolate descent yes girl i love that we have chocolate descent honey yeah Okay, I am in the range of NC50 and MAC, if that helps. I trust your opinion because your chocolate, your chocolate and your face be on skeleton ma. Oh! Oh my god, this is too funny. You said your face be on skeleton. Wow. Never heard that before. That's a new one. For Girls of Chocolate Descent, um, once again, that is the Becca. It is actually a foundation powder that you can use to contour. Yes, girl, yes, girl, yes, 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 girl, 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 girl. My old faithful e.l.f. blush palette. This comes in the shade dark, and I'm so grateful for it. This palette is about four bucks. You might get it for even less, maybe on sale somewhere. Oh my god, you made me blush. Oh my god, you made me blush. Okay, 
So another question I got off of Snapchat. Okay, so you girls are just not trying to send me videos. Like y'all just like, okay, my face not be e. Like you can't see me like this. How do you get your wig to stay on your head? Yes, you better slay. I can't right now. These are supposed to be highlights and contour questions. And you're asking me questions about my wig. Yo, it got to be dope. It got to be good. It got, 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 got to be glued. <laughs> got to be glued. And I use this spritz to hold it down. Okay, we have another question. Hey, love how he yummy mocha hunt his head. Can you explain the difference between bronzer, contour, and when you should and when you should not contour? difference between bronzers contour blush and when to contour when not to contour there's two categories of bronzers so a bronzer for a more fair skin person something that's going to give their skin more warmth if you're a darker skin tone you're already bronzed so you're gonna give your naturally warm skin tone just a nice glow so that's the difference between bronzers and the difference between a bronzer and a contour contours would define so contours will be a lot darker than a bronzer. It's not always necessary to contour. You want to assess your face shape and contour based on that. Contouring is going to make things narrow and make things smaller. So if you already have a small forehead, you don't need to contour your forehead because it's already small. You would then do the opposite and highlight your forehead to make it stand out so that your face is a little bit more proportionate. This is so gorgeous. Like I'm just gonna swipe that right here. This is a really nice highlighter for anyone with darker skin tones. Like, it doesn't give you that wow factor if you're not looking for that wow factor. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm always looking for a wow factor, but some people aren't. And this is gorgeous. With my Sigma F42 brush. I'm getting really dry now that it's getting colder here in New York I'm getting drier skin so it's helping to add that moisture and hydration to my skin okay so someone asked what is baking I love your baking video it was so funny but I still don't understand what baking is I bake all day I bake all day I bake all day baking is now kind of like a mainstream beauty technique but baking actually really came from the drag queens honey drags have been baking for centuries this is new to us but this is old to them you know what i mean so baking is like what i'm doing right now it's really just setting your highlights with a setting powder so that your highlight can be more intense your highlight can be set throughout the day if you are someone with a drier skin type i do not recommend baking because you will bake and crack girl you will crack C -c crack Thank you to all of my followers and subscribers, everyone who consistently shows me love. Thank you guys. I'm doing these videos for you. I will be uploading new videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So guys, come back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to see more. This is my mom, guys. This is my queen to be. My princess for real. I can't. <laughs> so she's dressed in the traditional Nigerian church this is the lace this part of my cultural dressing by the way this is my traditional dressing we are all robots from nigeria without the gilly our dressing is not complete without the traditional dress blouse our dressing is not complete and without this up and down our traditional dress is not complete so this is complete mm -hmm. This is my princess. Thank you all so much for watching her. She's <laughs> she's adorable. I'm a spoiled brat. She's a sweetheart. She <laughs> have a heart of diamond, not a heart of gold. Heart of diamond. This is too too salty. I'm hungry. It's really food. Let's Thank you, mom. Cook some obono soup. <laughs> Let's go and cook. Let's go to the kitchen. I'm filming. You will help me. I'm filming. You slice the okra. I'm filming. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Yeah, no, I really do bake all day though.